हाँ जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी टुडे इज नाइनटीन नवंबर 2020 राइट नाउ आई एम विद टेन कैमरेज क्लास एंड वन ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट हैज ब्रॉट अ क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द ड्राइंग ऑफ द वेव फ्रेंड्स एंड ही हैज प्रिंटेड सब क्वेश्चन एंड ब्रॉट हेयर सो वी आर वर्किंग ऑन दीज क्वेश्चन सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस वन हेयर वी हैव द वाटर वेव्स एंड हेयर द रीजन द वाटर इज डीप हेयर द वाटर इज शालो so when the water waves wave, wave fronts when they will reach in this region they will become slow down so when they become slow so we have to draw how the wave fronts will look like so the procedure is very simple you can see these are the wave fronts and this line is representing the direction of the wave fronts okay and another very important thing is this direction line makes 90 degree angle with the individual wave fronts so the point at which this direction line meets the the boundary between the two regions at that point i will draw a normal so i will use a set square i will put the cross here of the set square on that point and where the two regions are joining and where the direction of uh, direction line is also joining that boundary so i will mark the 90 degree angles okay so the 90 degree angle is uh, it's here so i have marked the 90 degree angle then i will join that mark uh, with the the point where the direction line was touching i am trying to make this as dotted line okay now you see i will draw the line of direction which will be in this shallow region when the water waves enter into the shallow region because the wave fronts are in this way and when they will enter on the shallow region they will be bended towards normal so the direction of in our course we don't have to go we don't have to calculate what will be the angle here just we know one thing that the wave fronts will bend towards normal their direction it will be no more following its original path it will be bended towards normal so the direction will be changed so this is the direction line now i have to draw the wave fronts you see for this direction line what i will do i will put the my protector on on the on this direction line you see the cross here and the 90 degree mark they both should be on the direction line let me increase the size of this direction line okay now you can see the cross here and the 90 degree both mighty mark and the cross here they both are on on this direction line which is in that shallow region so i will move this set square in such a way sorry set square i said is i will move the protector uh, towards those when this flat side or the straight side of the set square comes in contact with the point where that wave front touches this area's boundary at that point i will i will draw a line then i will further move it we make sure that the cross hairs and the 90 degree mark they both are on that line direction line so see when this flat side coincides with the point where that wave, wave front touches the boundary i will join that point here i will draw this line okay that i will further move it okay uh yeah where, where this wave front touches this uh, new area when this flat side or straight side of the protector coincides with that there i draw this line so you see i have you see so when the wave fronts will enter in this region the direction of the wave fronts have changed you can see the wave fronts have come closer to each other it means that the wavelength of the wave fronts has decreased and so the three are enough i think okay so i hope that you have understood this this so thank you very much everybody have a good day so uh, this is another question and here the wave fronts are shown 
and the wave fronts are shown in the liquid and then the wave fronts will enter in the air so there is a uh, one confusion which, which can be um, created in the student's mind these wave fronts are not showing the waves of water or uh, these wave fronts are actually sound waves okay so these wave fronts are actually showing compressions and these compressions are traveling inside the liquid and at this boundary they will go into the air the one thing is very important that when liquid is dense the air is rare and when the sound will go from liquid into air so first of all i need to draw wherever that direction line touches that barrier i will draw a normal there so at that boundary i will draw a normal for example at this point is touching okay you see this is 0 0 and the cross is at that point where that direction line is touching the boundary i will mark the 90 degree mark and that will show this will show the direction of the normal okay so this is showing the direction of the normal so here you see so see the behavior of the sound is that the sound becomes slower when it enter into air the sound travels faster in the liquid but when the sound will enter into air its speed will become slow okay so when the it will enter into air it will bend towards normal you see its behavior is such that it will bend towards normal it will not go on its original path the direction line was this but when it will enter into air it will bend towards normal you see if you have light in your mind if you have light waves so if the light would have entered from liquid into air it would bend away from the normal but these are not showing the waves of light they are showing the waves of sound they are compressions actually and when the sound moves from liquid into air it will bend towards normal when it moves from dense medium into rare medium it will bend towards normal this behavior is different than the behavior of the light if this is showing the light if it will go from liquid into air it will bend away from the normal but this is sound so the rest of the thing is same you see there there here you can see that i have drawn that direction line so the procedure is very simple i will put the protector on this direction line in such a way let let me change this okay. so here i have to draw the uh, so i will put the protector on in such a way you can see that the cross hairs and the 90 degree mark they both are on that direction line of this uh, protector so i will move it i will move it a little bit uh, you can see here you see this is on the 90 this is a cross hair is on that direction line and this flat side or the horizontal side or that straight side of the protector when it becomes coinciding with the point where that wave front is touching this barrier from there i will draw a line you see okay then i will move it little 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 little, little. and the rule is the, the same the cross here and the 90 degree mark they should remain on that direction line you can see that eh? so when this straight side becomes coinciding with that uh, wave front where the wave front touches the okay so there here we go this is the second wave front okay now let's further move it let's further move it and the rule is the same the cross here and the 90 degree mark they should remain on the direction line when this straight side of the protector coincides with the wave front on that area so there i draw a line so you can see these three wave fronts you can see the wave fronts have come closer to each other 
it means that the sound waves have slowed down they their wavelength has decreased their frequency remains unchanged so this is how you draw that so i hope you have understand and the one main difference uh, in this question you can see this was showing the sound waves and the previous question which we have done that was showing the water waves so this question was showing water waves so this is sound wave this is water wave so they both behavior looks different okay so i hope you have understood it thank you very much